So in Big Sur, along the Big Sur coast, we're trying to restore some of the kelp forest that has been lost. There's some areas that have recently become barrens, and we want to study those areas and potentially remove urchins from the areas to restore kelp forest. Primary objective for our mission right now is to set up a restoration site for the next several years. And then separate from that, we'll be setting up a control site to compare the differences between uh, effort on the restoration site and, and natural surrounding changes. And we're also hitting a bunch of our long-term monitoring sites for our kelp force monitoring program. The team of divers came dropped down to do long-term monitoring on the reef. So they're looking at kelp, fish, uh, invertebrates, and other important reef species just to have a good understanding of the health of the reef and how that is changing through time. Uh, unbelievably beautiful. <laughs> like a reminder of why we're out here and why we do it. I mean, I think these sites on Big Sur, we generally think of as the most pr pristine sites that we survey on the Central Coast. And we definitely went to sites that were still like that. Um, however, we also saw a lot of new barrens in areas that we had not seen that. So today we just did some of our normal monitoring surveys um, in an area that we've been to many times before. It's one of our long-term monitoring sites. We did see some barrens for the first time, which is a little concerning because up until this point, that area of the Big Sur coast had been really pristine. Reef Check California has been monitoring the kelp forest along the California coast for over a decade now and, and seen those changes. Um, kelp forest declining, urchin barrens, um, emerging and so now we're trying to help restore some of the kelp forest and the Big Sur coast in particular has been hanging on for longer than, than a lot of the other areas but we're trying to intervene while we still have a chance and some of the kelp is still present so it can repopulate the, the areas that we're trying to restore. During our surveys along the Big Sur coast we, we found this site with the relatively small urchin barren, there's still a lot of kelp forest remaining and it's a mix of bull kelp and macrocystis, giant kelp. And so we're hoping if we can intervene and, and restore this area that the kelp forest is going to come back before all the other kelp is gone too. We're going to go map this urchin barren so we know where to put our, our transects and do our restoration effort. We went there, we surveyed the site, we installed a benthic cable, basically a, li a line along the, the reef. Now we have our set of teams that are going in with drills that are drilling bolts where we'll lay lead line through. It's, uh, it's slow going, the rock is hard, so we're having a hard time drilling with these holes. We are stringing a line through the middle of the barren to do our surveys and restoration effort off of. And now we're working with commercial urchin divers to, to remove the purple urchins from that area with the hope that the kelp will regrow. I've already seen some kelp, small kelp plants, kelp recruits growing on the line that we put down and, and around the area that we have been clearing. So we're hopeful that it'll work. The way things are going right now, there's a strong possibility that we might lose a good portion of our kelp forests. And maybe they'll come back, maybe they won't. But if, you know, to do something about it, make sure that kelp forest and the ecosystem as we know it today is available for our kids in the future. And that only provides a better earth environment, but also provides all those other great things that the ocean provides to us. So we just want to keep the earth in a place where it's a good spot where our future generations can enjoy it too.